first thing we need to do, invert the tarantula. Got a surprise surprise here to hold a camera on my quads, but that uh, sort of rubberized tubing. Uh, I know some people are using the foam insulation stuff um, for pipes, and that's fine, whatever you find the best. Bit of foam will do it. Um, a bit of sponge, uh, I've used all sorts, um, it all works the same. This I find quite good, it's light and it's reasonably strong as well. And then we want obviously your two uh, 808 16 uh, cameras, um, roughly just sort of sitting like that. So you're gonna get the crossover just sort of around there. I invert one and have the other one the other way. This way I can usually get to the buttons or if not, you just have to uh, flick them on before you actually put it in here. If you do it around that way, you definitely will not get to that second button, uh, uh, the button on the second one, the top one there. So, uh, but, it, but it's up to you. That's the way I did it before. So we we'll stick around that way. So pop your tube or your foam in, and then just literally line it up. So it's facing reasonably straight, going straight down uh, the tarantula. And then my real technical ability, as per normal with the, with me with anything quad based, is a couple of elastic bands. You can you you find your own way around this. So however you find this best, uh, but basically they do work. And I, ju I just use two on my one. It seems to work fine. And there we go. And of course the other thing, using this amount of foam, it takes out all the vibration as well. So if you've got one that's pulling back like that, you just need to make it pull at the front and then come back there, then it will stop that happening. So you just take the pressure off one, one side of the band, put it on the other, and wait till it sort of settles down a bit before you start flying. Oops, that's not gonna work, is it? There we go. Perhaps that's, perhaps that's where I did it. There we go. That's sitting better. And then you can just keep playing around with them a little bit. It's not that technical. Um, it, it can't be really, because uh, it's not a proper rig for holding two cameras or anything. But there we go. And they're definitely going to be out of shot as well. Okay, so got an overhead view this time to try and show you uh, how my system works, really. Um, you can play around with these quite a bit, get them lined up how you like. Um, you can be pointed slightly down. You could cut the tube at an angle if you like. Um, it's up to you and it can face backwards as well obviously. But what I actually have done is marked out here um, the 120 degrees that's the coverage of the um, 808-16 and then in red just in case I'm playing around and I want to know what angle I'm going to get in on the Yamiyi I've done a 155 uh, degree so I know what I'm going to get in shot if I put the put the camera in the center sort of thing. So the other thing is obviously this would be the center line of the camera both ways. So if you wanted them to perfectly butt up, you'd need to be in line with those. But I would suggest you have an overlap, um, especially if you really want to stitch them together because of the barrel in effect, you'll want about a 20 to 30% overlap. Uh, I just did it for fun, so I only had a very small overlap, probably not even 10%, but this is the way I did it. So pop that underneath and then just basically get that in if you want it facing straight uh, because you want a, a, the front sort of panoramic then obviously get this in line with the tarantula but again not too fussy don't get too embedded down with the detail with this this is just a bit of fun and then roughly line that up so it's roughly in line with this one and then this one's way off at the moment, so bring that round to roughly in line there as well. This is all adjustments, you just have to, you know, bear with it. But uh, once it's once it's going, it's fine. I didn't have any problems with it. it seemed to work all right. That one just needs to go a wee bit more. And try and keep the cameras so they're sort of back as close almost as they can, getting the lenses together. That's just going to help how it works. I'll just put a bit of more tension on the front, less on the back. There we go. You can see it's now sitting a bit more level. That's fine. I can still get at the buttons, uh, which is good. Sorry, the other buttons on the other side. And uh, I think that's just about it. Yeah. So that's going to just butt the video up against each other. So what I've been 
uh, slightly intended to do would be to bring that one round there a little bit and bring that one round there a little bit so you definitely get an overlap. There we go. Just let it all settle before you fly because obviously you don't want it gradually moving because it would change all the angles. And that's it really. Um, I'll take it outside, give it a fly, see what you think. Um, I'm quite happy if you haven't got any way of measuring these out then I'm quite happy to put that somewhere where people can get to it and um, hopefully it helps. It's a bit of fun and uh, yeah I think it I think it looks looks okay. Works fine. I'm very pleased with the results. Let's go flying. <laughs> Thank you.